It's Leah Remelay with GopherProPhotos.com and we have a special episode of Video Friday because I've got Jean Smith from JeanSmithPhotography.com who is amazing, wait till you see, and we are going to be talking all about how she has found balance with her business and her life and oh, it's juicy, wait, wait till you hear. Okay, Jean, welcome. Okay, well, you just set me up for like a soap opera life, it's not quite... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I do. I feel like I'm a busy, crazy mom and business owner, and and I say this knowing that so many of you are as well. That I should say most of you are as well. But um, in my personal life, uh, I am married to an awesome man. We have four little boys. We live in Michigan. Um, I own my own business, my own photography business. My husband and I own a commercial photography business and we are um, part owners of Mosey Magazine. So on a business sense we are very crazy but then beyond that we also have you know our kids and our family and our church and we have um, we're currently in the process of moving because we are going to be doing a lot of traveling next year. So we're selling our house and packing and moving out right now. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, that's just a little snippet of my crazy life. Yes, and you're right. Everybody is feeling crazy and busy, and that's why this topic is so important and why it gets touched on so often. So will you share your story on where you were and um, where you've come to today? Yes, of course. Um, really, just a little bit about me. I just uh, I started my photography business in uh, 2006, officially 2007. Um, I, I got busy pretty quick. Um, I slow at first, got busy pretty quick, and I got to the point in 2009 where I was shooting about six or seven sessions per week, which may not be busy for a lot of people, but for me, and then adding on weddings onto that, it kind of got a little bit insane, just to the point of... Um, I mean, I feel like it's the usuals, that sleeping three to four hours of sleep at night, um, putting my kids in front of the TV all the time, not eating, not exercising, not taking care of myself, not, not spending near enough time with my husband and my children. It, was, it just got to that point of um, I knew it was happening around me and I was frustrated and I was tired and I was grumpy and my family felt it and I knew it but I just kept plugging away thinking it'll get better, it'll get better, it'll get better, I have this business, I love it um, until I just remember one night sitting at my computer and I just completely broke down. I'm sobbing. Um, I, I just, I was beside myself because I, I realized I, I'm, that, I'm that person. I'm miserable. I hate photography when in reality it wasn't photography I hated. It was all of these things that had happened within photography that I had allowed to happen um, to get to this point. So it was either I change or I quit. And I knew I love photography. It's part of me. I can't quit photography. So I had to make a change. So um, kind of, I, I like to tell people there are three things that completely saved my life and got to me to where I am today. So do you want me just to go over those kind of? Just, okay, cool. Um, so number one, um, schedule. That was the very first thing to change. I was letting, I, I was, my clients ruled my schedule, ruled my life, which, which, I mean, you want to cater to your clients. You want to be the best customer service person you can be and you want them to love you and you want to provide for them. Um, but there's a balance. As a business owner and being self-employed, that's part of the glory in this is that you have the option to um, control your schedule a little bit. So right away, I um, went from working, I mean, I worked Saturdays from morning until evening, almost every single Saturday of the entire year. Um, so right away, I stripped all Saturdays for my schedule except for the 15 weddings that I accept per year. Um, um, never work on Sundays, that's my church and family day. And then Monday nights are my family night without without question and Friday nights are date night. And that's so, pretty much my schedule too, which, um, yeah, same thing. So Friday's I, date night, Monday's family night, Sunday's never work day, and Saturdays are limited and only in the mornings. So I love awesome. that. Okay, number two. And number two was pricing. Um, I was already decently priced, but not quite to the point I feel like, yes, I'm just so happy with what's going on here. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't really, had never believed in having a minimum. I just didn't feel like that was me. So finally, I just thought really right. geared towards the, the kind of client market that I'm trying to get to. So I just, I set up a deposit and at, at that point in time, it was $750, which is a $250 session fee and a $500 deposit for them to use at the time of order. And what that did right, right off the bat is it did weed out those people that, that weren't able to, who weren't in my client market, mm -hmm. weren't able to afford that, but 
I couldn't afford to make $200 per session. Um, I knew that after reversing all of my numbers and the hours that I would spend, I knew that I never wanted to make less than $750 per session. Of course, my goal was a lot higher than that, but if I came out at $750, um, then I wouldn't, then, you know, I, I would be fine with that. So, um, so I weeded out the people and then that guaranteed that I would always have um, that certain amount. So that's number two. Number three, and I feel like this is, you hear so much of this lately. I don't feel like you, you used to hear this two years ago, three years ago, but you do hear a lot of it lately, but I am a 110% believer in outsourcing. Outsourcing, outsourcing, outsourcing. Um, everybody has a different version of outsourcing and some people can give up more than others. For me, I'm, I am a little bit of a control freak, um, so I, I did have to give and take a little bit, but for me, what worked for me was number one, editing. Um, the two things I love in my business are shooting and editing. So giving up editing was mind-blowing. I couldn't give up editing. That was part of my art. But what I found to work for me was um, I cull through my own sessions and then I edit in Facebook the images that I, I'm sorry, I edit, I'm sorry, I cull and then I edit the images I want to put on Facebook, my blog, and the rest are shipped off. Um, the most freeing thing I have ever done because I found a fantastic retoucher and she um, matches my style for me. She, we, we, work, we work together until she matched my style and now I'm to the point that I can go on vacations or I can go somewhere or I'm here, whatever it is, and I can ship off 10 sessions to her and we have a due date and then I come back and they're just sitting in my inbox. It is the most freeing feeling to oh, have it happen. Is. Yeah, so that was my number one. My number two, album design. I, I, I sell a lot of digital images and a lot of albums, um, and I, I just don't like doing it. I don't like doing it, so I got rid of that. Free. Free. Um, number three for me was um, um, uh, packaging and uh, ordering and packaging. I just don't like it. It's one of the things I just had to give up. So I'm in the process of refining that one right now, but that was something I needed to give up as well. And then my last two that some may not consider outsourcing, but I absolutely do just because it's something that um, I'm giving up in order to have more time for the things that are important to me, family, um, husband, I mean, my time, whatever it is, um, is um, house cleaning and a nanny. So I have a house cleaner who comes twice a month and I have a nanny who comes twice a week. And um, what that does for me is it allows me to say, okay, I don't have vacuuming on Monday. I don't have scrubbing floors and bathrooms on Tuesday. It allows me to say all the deep cleaning is done and I can pay for an entire year of house cleaning with one session. So why would I not? Why would I not do that? And then the nanny thing, I, that was a hard one. This was the, probably one of the hardest things for me to give up because it's my child. This is my time with my children. But I realized if I can just take those two days and say, all right, listen, mom is going to be working these two days. These are mom's work days, but then the other days are my time with my kids, my time to run errands, my time to play, my time to hang out, my time to get other stuff done. Um, then I just feel like such a better person, such a better mom. It's 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 freeing. So I sit down on those two days, crank it out, and then and then on the rest of the days it's normal mom, normal gene. So so those are my outsourcing and that have saved my life to help me to get to the point that I am today that I love photography so much and I love my business and I, I it's like I love everything about it again when I just can't believe that three years ago I was at the point that I was like I hate photography and when it wasn't photography's fault it was everything I had done to get to that point so and I think so many feel that so many are at that point where they are hating it and they're saying I either have to quit or make this work and um, I got to that same point and I, I share a similar story and um, I did pretty much the exact same steps you did and with outsourcing, uh, my outsourcing is is the same. I outsource my editing. I have someone who comes in and cleans once a week while they're cleaning. I'm at my kids' classrooms volunteering and that is the most, I can't, I can't even put into words what it feels like to be in my kids' classroom, one of the most important, precious places I could even be and come home and the house is clean and I, I feel so just ready to conquer the world. Um, and I think, I think that's what it comes down to. We, we need to understand that time is our most precious commodity. And when you are willing to invest to buy more time for yourself and for the people you love the most, you can't regret that. So, so do what you have to do to make it happen. And, and you start with one thing. If there's only one thing you can, you can say okay to letting go and then you get a piece of it, you start tasting what it feels like and all of a sudden you're like, what else can I let go of? Um, so I love it. Thank you so much for sharing this. Do you have any other 
You know what? I as you were speaking, it just it made me realize one other thing that I wanted to mention is just that one of the biggest hesitations I think people have with this, yes, it is scary to give things up, but even more than that, people have a hard time giving up the money. I don't why would I go pay hundred and fifty dollars to have somebody do something that I can do? Why would I pay a hundred dollars to you know, same thing yeah. over like that's a couple hundred bucks out of my pocket. But when in reality, and this was something that had to be drilled into my head by my genius business husband, is that you do need not always, but you do sometimes need to spend money to make money. And this is a hundred percent of the case in in outsourcing. Um, if you spend Four hours, I think, is the average time to edit a session. For a lot of people, three, four, six, I mean, who knows, whatever hours it takes you to do that. If you had somebody else doing that for you for this X amount of dollars, um, you could spend those four hours doing a session, two sessions, yep, mar marketing, working, um, doing anything to build your business other than sitting in front of the computer, editing, editing, editing. There are people out there that do this for a living who do an amazing job, so let them do it and you spend your time building your business. So it's okay to spend money to make money, I promise. It, it, it's like it worked for me and it's worked for everybody else that I've talked to that, that has taken that approach. So yes. yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. We would love to hear from you. We want to know what is the number one takeaway that you are taking from this video or if you have outsourced something, what has it been and what was the outcome for your business life balance? Remember, we carry our cameras to create, but we created our businesses to thrive. So don't just survive, thrive. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, Leah.